and good morning good evening good afternoon my friends my family members how are you I hope everyone had a great eclipse day you know i'm not an eclipse conspiracy person there are some people texas being one they were actually losing their mind and thinking the world was going to come to an end or you know the rapture you know the rapture where you know some people get uh, i guess up to heaven swooped up to heaven is what i'm trying to say things like that and uh none of that happened here's the deal eclipses come uh somewhere in this world every 18 months it's nothing new we had an eclipse in 2017 2017 that was a year that your ex-president that number one fool looked up at the eclipse with his bare eyes yeah so they come often we'll have another one here um i think another 40 years or something like that you guys can google it yourself google is your friend and so we'll have them again there was nothing spectacular was going to happen but it does open some beginnings and some endings and so i thought because i don't like to really talk about my life too much personally but i think this is worth talking about so i had two incidents that happened um on the eclipse day so uh i have a daughter who is epileptic and she actually literally has a hole in her brain uh yeah actually does uh if it had been, uh, you know, a little bit more this way or that way, she'd been completely dis disabled and all of that, but she is not. So she suffers from absence, uh, um, uh, absence seizures, excuse me, guys, absence seizures. So all you have to do is just look it up and you can see what an absent seizure is. But it really is like dazed out completely. You know, you don't know where you are, or what you're doing. You just sitting there and so she had that but it was extra long this time it was really extra long i remember and she was just sweating like just unbelievably sweating like she had run a marathon the next thing you know she went into she came out of it she dozed off to sleep and she woke up going into a grand mal seizure now she's not had a grand mal seizure uh, what do they call it tonic conic seizure since she was two when she was that young when she was diagnosed being epileptic and so seeing it as an adult it was frightening i called 911 and she fell and you know went through her symptoms and they came in they took her to the hospital and by the grace of god you know i thought we had lost her but she came out of it took a while because there's this post syndrome where they still don't know where they are or they kept asking her or uh what's the date or do you know where you are and she didn't and then she eventually came to herself she's doing good today so prayers to my daughter nothing happened so in the evening time my baby brother his name is paul he lives in seattle washington um anyways he texted me and he said oh i see you're still up um it's nothing, nothing, no emergency. And that sounded weird to me. I'm like, no emergency. Okay. You know, you can text me. It's whatever. And he's like, I want to show you what our niece Heather sent to him. And so I have a mother who suffered from mental health disease all of her life. And she progressively got worse combined with dementia and things like that until we had her in a place for her. But we didn't know at the time that she was free to sign herself out, and she did. And she just was around Milwaukee somewhere. We did not know where she was. And we always looked for her, wanted to know where she was, making calls and doing the things that we needed to do as a family. So he ends up sending me uh, something from this uh, uh, court records, court records uh, of my mom's issues that she had going back and forth with police or whatever the case may be and in it it showed that my mom was deceased and she had died may 30th 2020 that long that long i was numb 
I was I was just numb. I told my brother I can't talk right now. Just let me go. Just numb. And so now, you know, the well wishing and all those things are coming. But where were you people that are in Milwaukee? Where were you when you needed to find her? Why did we let her down? She was always let down. She had a she had a tough life, but you couldn't tell it from the outside. She was the most beautiful cancer lady. Love her kids, her family, her home was impeccable. I mean, she could have she could have been a designer. Anyway, so eclipses bring beginnings and endings. And I decided that inside myself, instead of saying, you know, some people pass away and there you hear, oh yeah, a part of her when when he died, part of her died and all that. No. When my mother passed, it brought me new strength. It brought me the ability to speak my truth and say what I have to say and don't wear a mask and don't people please or none of the above. Everything that she was doing that caused her even hardship coupled with the disease that she had, mm -mm, she made me extra super powerful. And so I'm sharing that with you lightly only because there's a lot of people in this world that are suffering, be it physical ailments, be it uh, uh, mental disease, addictions, whatever it is across the board. And I'm so doggone tired of always looking at what's different. Let's put people in this box and that box and, and we're different from them and they're different from us. And we all suffer for it. There's no family, I can guarantee you, that was a perfect family. Every family had their secrets. And so this is the time, if you're at a certain point in your life like mine, is to get rid of the secrets and come out direct. Seriously. All right, on to the news. Enough of my rattling. So, you know, this is my day of news. And so I thought I'd share some with you. So the Arizona Supreme Court, have you heard about that? They're deciding to bring back a near total abortion uh, ban. This ban was from 1864 <clears throat> when Arizona wasn't even a state. Okay. Uh, and here's the killer. They actually had uh, June Sixers and, and, and these crazy Christian fundamentalists all on the floor. Have you seen the clip? Speaking in tongues or what they think is tongues, trying to make sure this bill passes in their Supreme Court. I don't even know how it turned out, but why are people going this far? Why have people lost all their marbles? And I'm not going to just say it's Trump, because Trump don't get that much power from me. Mm -mm. I'll do videos of him because he's fascinating. He's funny to me in this weird, perverse way that he can pull the wool over so many people's eye and get away with it. You know, like... I mean, I watched the Jim Jones documentary. I was I was alive at that time. I know about the, the Charles Manson mess. And there's many, many of these leaders that people follow behind, including the Hitler situation. And they believed in that wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly and got nothing out of it, but loss of their life and, and all of that. So I stand back and look at it like, oh, I saw this movie. Oh, I know how this is going to go. But they never seem to. Anyway, so now Jack Smith has put in emergency motion to SCOTUS. He wants them to get to his get to his case. He wants them to reject uh, the immunity claim for Trump. He's got he's going on his first criminal trial, April fifteenth, uh, Alvin Bragg's trial. So let's see if if Jack Smith will have success with. The Supreme Court. Will they respond to his emergency demands? He's demanding it. Do y'all hear what I'm saying to you? He is not playing. He's like, y'all called me on the job. I'm going to do my job. Get out of my way. Jack, 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 Jack. Yeah, he's mad. He's getting. He's going up against walls everywhere. He's feeling like he's up against walls. He's getting blocked for everything that's happening to him. Um, he's feeling like it's a never-ending battle. And he's just trying to do his job.
Yeah, he sees this man. Well, first of all, he wants to be able to be left alone and do his job. You know how people are good at something? Let me tell you. When people are good at something, they want to be left alone. They don't want to do all that teamwork, collaboration, blah, blah, blah. They want to do what they do, which is hella good, and leave them alone. And they will produce for you. That's him. He wants to see Trump be held accountable for what he's done. He wants these people to stop sucking up to him. He hasn't won an election. He's, he's not won an election. But he wants them to back off of him and stop supporting him. I don't know if this is going to go get good for him, though. I wish I could say, yeah, he's going to get his way. But I don't think that... Let me keep looking here. Oh, okay. Okay. He's going to have to defend his position, okay? For some reason, well, I guess it's most of them are been given their job via... Trump, but he's going to have to defend his uh, position. And I don't even understand. I'm a commenter. I'm not a lawyer. I don't play one on TV. Um, why would he have to de defend something that seems like it's indefensible? Of course, he should not be able to uh, have complete immunity. Does that mean Biden does too? Does that mean that Harris does too? So they don't even have to do the election. Just they decided that we're not forget it. We're going to take all that money back or you guys just keep it all the money that we spend for ads and we're not even having an election because if it goes that way he can do that he's got complete immunity so what yeah he's very passionate he's he's angry and that anger is causing a lot of passion for him to push forward and he's like you know what i will come against y'all i will come against y'all yeah he's going to be able yeah Okay, he will be able to file. His case will be looked at. And it looks like that case is going to go in his direction. He's holding on to what he believes. He's not here for the games, period. Trump does not get complete immunity. Who does? What country do we live in if they, any person gets complete immunity? Because if Trump was to get complete immunity and then won the election, he can get rid of y'all too on the Supreme Court. What do we need y'all for? We won't need you. He'll just decide the guilty and the innocent. Yeah, okay. But I'm not smart, okay? I'm just a little old school teacher. What do I know? But it looks like uh, he's going to feel good. He's going to be able to produce the arguments and defense to be, to be successful in this endeavor of saying, no, he does not. He needs to go to trial like everybody else. Whatever the trials are, Whatever crime, he needs to be held accountable for the things that he's done. We can't overlook that. That looks good for Jack. Good for Jack. Jack is a very passionate person. You know he's passionate. The passionate people are not the ones hooping and hollering and screaming. The passionate, fired up people is that quiet person that you think doesn't talk much or they're shy or whatever. They're passionate about their particular positions on anything. So, yeah, that part. Now, the last one I'm going to share with you is Trump's lawyers. Now, this is with that $175 million. This is another one of these scam things, okay? So, this Hawkins in California, remember he put up the White Knights. The uh, They put up the, uh, I think it was the White Knights. But anyways, he puts up the money, the $175 million. But listen, at first he told the lawyers, I'll put up the whole thing, the whole $465 million. So now the Trump's lawyers are going to be under fire because they said that there was no way possible he's going to be able to get this bail up, not even the 175, which he couldn't get any of it up, right? That's what they said. That was never true at all. This Hawkins offered them the whole thing, but Trump rejected it. I'm going to tell you why. Because if he took the money, Hawkins wanted collateral and the all Trump has is some property, okay? And he did not want to give up his property. So they're like, eh, no, just give us just give us 175 mil and we'll pay you back. <laughs> what a second, look at Trump's lawyers here. Y'all should watch my channel, y'all Trump folks. Y'all really should because anybody, anybody 
that Trump deal jumps Trump deals with, they're gonna get it one way or the other. They're gonna get it. They're gonna come crashing down one way or another because now it looks as though his attorneys perjured themselves. Will they get any backlash for this lie that they know was not true? This is my girl Letitia doing her investigations. Trump's attorneys. Show me about Trump's attorneys. I'm putting a good shuffle on y'all. Bear with me. Okay. Trump's attorney. He gonna get rid of them. He gonna get rid of those attorneys. He's gonna distance himself from the attorneys. They know that it's almost as if these attorneys have to kiss his rear in order to stay on the job and hopefully get a paycheck. And anybody can tell them, hey, if you do that, you're gonna probably go down. If you do that, it's not gonna help you. But there's something tempting and enticing about him that they feel that they're going to win something or there'll be some big payoff but they'll have to walk away from the matter no matter what no justice is coming for them justice is coming for them as well they'll be sanctioned or fined or something like that because it turns out to be a perjurous situation now hawkins didn't necessarily do anything wrong but he is not he presented himself as if he was a bail bondman and he was not uh, I think he finances cars or something like that. That's not a crime, but that's just the way he presented himself. So there's going to be a lot of regret. It's always regret. It's going to be a lot of regrets, and they're going to stand on their reasoning. They've made, you know, sense to it made sense to them to whatever. But there'll be a lot of um, infighting and people walking away off of his. Uh, you know, on his cases and stuff like that. They really won't have a choice to because uh, the court is going to hear them and decide, mm -mm. This, is a, this is another scam y'all coming with. So he's playing in y'all faces. But this judge is, is like Ingron, but even firmer. He's not for the play. He's the real deal. And just the same way as Ingron, he's going to be the same. I'm not here for the play. They already know about Trump, so they've been waiting on him. Anyways, and by the way, he's got a, a gag order put on him, and they extended the gag order, and he still was talking about the judge and the judge's daughter and all this kind of mess. Like, he threatens y'all to put him in jail, and y'all stand down every time while he mows you over. Now, perhaps you have a bigger plan. Perhaps your plan is let him say what he wants. You know, that whose last laugh last laughs best. That may be it. But y'all got to do something. Anyways, you guys have a great day. Take care.